solution that we have before us is to, um, is to support um, this option. I know that there has been a, uh, a recommendation come through from um, uh, Environment Canterbury to uh, move uh, the, the cycle lane to the other side of Chewham Street. Um, I wouldn't be um, willing to accept an amendment to do that because I think that to do that we would have to um, gain additional information so that we could actually make um, an evidence-based, um, well-supported decision. Uh, so the only amendment that I will accept in this regard uh, would be an amendment um, to defer the report and to seek uh, additional information in order to enable us to make a um, decision in the new year. Um, so, uh, so, so, so the, the, the alternative to um, supporting um, this resolution would be um, such an amendment to defer. Yani. Okay, so Yani will move that. Is there a seconder for that position? To defer this report until um, uh, uh, until the new year and to seek additional information in relation to the um, uh, cycleway on Chewham Street. Okay, so I, I just as long as I'm clear on what we're seeking more information. Yeah. Around no, but uh, that hasn't achieve. got a seconder. So um, that at this stage, um, that that hasn't. Mm -hmm that hasn't been seconded as an amendment, and we have a motion on the floor, which is the um, first phase projects report. So um, if there isn't a seconder for that position, then it fails for want of a seconder. So I will now... Okay. So um, we'll call... Um, so... Um, so, so now we've got those two positions um, on the table. So could we, um, I'll now um, uh, um, ask, is there any debate? Uh, Phil Clearwater. Well, I'm going to strongly oppose the amendment. Um, I, I've got no doubt that we have had the best engineering advice that we can on this. The, the, the solution isn't perfect. There's no question of that. But basically, the staff have made it clear that with the best advice we can get, and we are lay people, we need to keep that in mind, that on balance, the north side is far more suitable, and that is in the recommended option that the staff put up. And, and um, there's no doubt in my mind that with the explanation we have around the Averley report, which is around the south side, um, that, that in fact that pertains to the, to the section of the cycleway just outside the, the bus exchange itself. It, it doesn't pertain at all to the, hot, to, the, to the rest of the cycleway down Tuam Street. So in fact the staff are recommending a, a very good systems approach which actually uh, will enhance the network. Um, and the, I think the, the, the point too that, I, that um, Councillor David East made the other day is that in fact so being on the, cyclists being able to be on the side which they're accustomed to, so that in fact that is what really will um, clinch the deal in terms of cyclist safety. That in fact if the cyclists are riding on the right hand side, and I know that as a cyclist and I've cycled in Europe too, that in fact that is non-intuitive to us. That, that is what will discourage the pe very people we want to get on bikes. And my third point is that in fact we had a very detailed explanation about how there's a huge amount of um, mitigation going into the, the, clearly what are conflict points in terms of safety. And that is as much as can be done. And, and I don't, so far, if this, there's been, we do know that there's been considerable discussion among the staff on this with, with a lot of experts. And they've compared the right hand, the, sorry, the, the south and the north side. If we, the only reason we would not vote for support this today is in fact to get safety, further safety um, information around something that in fact the staff so far haven't been able to get. So all this will do is delay the whole central, the whole central city tr transport project. I don't want to do that. I think we need to get on with this. It's part of our city's rebuild. So I urge people to vote against the amendment, and I support the staff recommendation. Um, 
Okay, the only reason I've supported this is that you've said we cannot make an amendment to the motion that's on the table. I don't know why that is. Because for, for me, I don't have a problem with, with most of the stuff, but, you know, th that's not going to work as far as I'm concerned. Um, and, I mean, I cycle all over the place, and I actually think one of the great things about cycling is, is the freedom. I mean, you know, most cyclists actually are not bothered whether on the left side or the right side, whatever. They just want to make sure they're not going to get knocked off. And, you know, this, this is going to be a gridlock. So I, I can't see how that works, and I think we need to consider either moving it to the south side or actually getting another way for cyclists to come through the city. I mean, putting them next to, you know, 100 buses an hour is just is, is complete, complete non-starter. So either we amend the, the motion... Hold on. Either we amend the motion so that we can actually consider it separately and let everything else go through, or we have a discussion on this. Of course that, that, that could be... OK, we, we could have the um, amendment as um, that the um, report be um, adopted except for the cycleway on Chewham Street, which will um, be um, deferred to a council meeting in early 2015. So, I mean, I, that, that, that's... Sorry. I think we need to get some advice from staff on that because it, by taking one bit out might have implications on the other bit. So if we could hear from yes. staff. Yes. Yes. Thank, thank you, Madam Chair. Um, uh, I think the, uh, the memorandum that councillors have had before them for today's meeting in section five, uh, we, we did outline some of the implications as we saw them of the deferral of this decision, particularly pertinent to the cycleway issue on Chewham Street. Um, that's that's the, not the question with respect that no. you're being asked. You're being asked, can we simply adopt the rest of the report and defer the cycleway component of it from a technical point of view? Is that, is that something that we could, yeah. could do? We, we, yeah, you could defer TP9, the TP9 component, right. and then still approve which contains the cycleway, and then still approve TP10 and TP11, which right. are Litchfield and Colombo Street. And they're obviously both important for the interchange as well. Uh, the issue that Tim was alluding to would be if you did defer the TP9, which is the continuation of Chewham Street one way eastbound, including the cycleway, what you would end up with is an uncontrolled um, intersection of cyclists with the interchange, and that would raise serious safety issues. So. That, that's the problem with deferral. So you, you, you could... It's the deferral for the decision. You, you could defer TP9. I don't um, know that it's going to be accepted by the, by the, by the council, um, whether they are going to be prepared to do that. But um, the, the, the really the question that I'm asking you is, that is, it, is it technically possible to do that? Would it be better to defer the whole report or would it be better just to defer one component of it. Because what I'm not prepared to accept by way of amendment is that we move the cycle lane from the north side to the south side mm. without okay. further advice. Yes. yes. I think that would be highly inappropriate and I'm not prepared to accept it as an amendment. <laughs> that was the point that I was making. Hang on. Um, Madam Chair, we think it would be preferable if, if the council did have concerns about TP9 to simply defer that component. Right. And if council were comfortable with TPs 10 and 11, which is Litchfield Street and Colombo Street respectively, those components could be approved. I'm not sure what the implications would be for the resolutions, yeah. uh, of which there are many and varied yeah. and they're all interrelated, so that's something that we'd need to take some advice okay. on. So, so, um well, I think we can move the um, recommendations. Um, if, if the amendment were accepted, then it's basically adopting the report except for the TP9 component, and the individual resolutions would be, um, you know, except for this part away. of that. Yeah. If that went through, does that mean the bus exchange would actually open? with no controls around the intersection. Yes, and, and what, what yeah. was started through TP1A is to put a cycleway on the north side of the of Chewham Street. So you'd probably get a continuation of cyclists along Chewham Street 
without a separated cycle facility and arriving at the interchange without any signals. So no, you've got... You know, that's, that's, I mean... Until you know, it was people, resolved. People, people need to understand what the implications <coughs> are, so, so that's... that's that's okay. If, if I might add, Ma Madam Chair, um, we would have considerable concerns for cyclist safety across that yeah, interchange. Yeah, no, no. Entry I, I think that's a given. Yeah. I'm, I'm, you know. Um, yeah. Right, Yanni. Can I? Um, I think what would be useful is um, to separate out the, the uh, deferral of TP9 as opposed to adopting the whole report except for TP9, so that it's really clear. We we just vote on whether we defer TP9, and then we vote on the other. OK, so that so, the so, so that... So I don't think it needs to say the report better not so, OK, that we, that we defer the TP9 the component of, July. of the recommendations. I was just trying to find a way of, of gathering together all of the recommendations without having to go through and isolate which ones were TP9 and which ones weren't. Okay. Anyway, Thank that the TP9 that. component of the report be deferred to a council meeting in early 2015. Can I just ask staff, in terms of the opening of the bus interchange, my understanding is it's going to be end of April? What's 27th the, of April. What's the, so the 27th of April. So if the report mm -hmm. came back to us in January okay. at the first council meeting, yeah. what, is the, what is the hold up? Um, We've got our project manager here who is probably best. Um, Sorry, what was the question? Well, given that you've got about, um, you've got to the end of April to get these changes in place, what's the problem with holding this up, given we've got, if we've got concerns to, the, to discuss it early in the Hang on, um, this is just not an order. We've got a, we've, we've now got um, a resolution on the table and we're debating it. Well, except staff have been given advice and response to questions that you've been asking and yeah. I just wanted to... It was, the advice was to That's clarify right. the wording of the amendment. All right, it's your turn. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, I, I definitely support deferring this component, and I've got concerns about the rest of this plan, but this one we'll focus on for the time being. Um, if you look at the Avery Transport Consultant reports um, from the 24th of November, um, just kind of want to read what it says. It's unfortunate that plans for the southern frame have been unable to regress, as they have in the east frame, as a cycle facility through the south frame is likely to have represented the best overall option. It would have proved provided a consistent level of facility for east-west and north-south movements through the frame areas and facilitated a design wholly compatible with the interested but concerned group. At the JTRP meeting on 20th of November, it was agreed that a cycleway through the south frame represented a lost opportunity. So it just seems, in my view, that what we should be doing between now and when this report comes back is sitting down and meeting with the appropriate decision makers, the, the ministers, who, who, who are responsible, and looking at what we can do with the South Frame. The government have designated the South Frame. That South Frame is entirely in public control over what happens to it. So we have the most extraordinary powers being used to do all sorts of things in our central city, and we've got ECAN expressing concern, we've got a number of submitters expressing concern, and a number of councillors probably having concerns. So I just think there has to be a better option than what we're proposing. Uh, because it, it doesn't seem to me that the solution is just to accept the least safe, uh, sorry, the, the, the least risky of a dangerous option. I, I don't agree with that approach. Um, I can just see clearly that humans and cyclists are dynamic. Central cities have lots of different moving parts and people don't stick to the roads, they don't follow the rules, they cross at different times, they, they go through lights and even bus drivers go through red lights. So, you know, why would we put this thing in this position, given how concerning it could be? And we heard that yesterday from people in the industry who are very experienced, and I don't want to be responsible for having this cycleway put in this location. I think, let's talk to government, let's try and get a meeting with the minister, uh, whoever is appropriate, to, who can make decisions about the south frame, and work through an alternative. Because the only, actually, all you're talking about is two blocks of the central city, which government control, in the south frame to connect Chum Street from Colombo Street to High Street. That's why we're not providing a very nice cycleway in Chum Street once you go past Madras Street, because it connects into High Street. 
So all this debate about two blocks seems ludicrous. There has to be a better way. The South Frame is obviously the opportunity. T let's take the time and get, it, get something that is a lot more comfortable in terms of cyclist safety, pedestrian safety, and safety for bus drivers as well. Uh, Jamie. Look, I appreciate the work the committee and the staff have, um, have done on this greatly. Um, I know the people at the, and I've worked with people at the end of the table, you know, over the years, and professionally, you know, they're the best in the business, we know that. But I, I sit here, and, and I don't want to be speaking for the, for the people that have gone through this, but I almost get the feeling that they've made the best decision they can with the cards that they've been dealt, and that's all, that's all that can be asked. But I'm not actually convinced when I hear the arguments for everything there, even that some of the staff that have worked on this think this is the way to solve this issue. I agree that with uh, the options of a, a north cycle route or a south cycle route down Chewham Street, that it makes sense more for it to be on the north side. I think that uh, there are mitigating factors around safety uh, which have been put in place that make the best of a bad situation. All of you sitting around this table know how I operate, that I would rather make a good decision today than a perfect decision tomorrow, because tomorrow never comes and perfect doesn't exist. But why I'm supporting this amendment now is because I get up and I go to work and I wanted to be on the City Council, not because there's great perks, there's not, not because it's great money, because it's not. It's because I want people to love Christchurch as much as me. And you want to make Christchurch a better place, item by item. Everything that comes up in front of you, you want to make Christchurch a better place. And I don't believe that this makes Christchurch a better place. I see everything crammed into one road. I see a place for pedestrians, I see a place for cyclists, I see a place for buses, and I see a place for cars. And it feels like a gigantic mishmash. And then I see the south frame, literally a matter of metres away, and I think of where creating and seizing an opportunity to make this the best little boutique newest city in the world, then doesn't it make so much sense to have bordering the central city core uh, a, a ideal place for pedestrians and cyclists alike, north to south in the east frame and east to west in the south frame. That would be the place for it. And all I see here as well is a, an area of land where you can only have two buses three at an absolute stretch, potentially a third bus would have its rear end out onto Colombo Street. So if you've got 80 second phases uh, and from woe to go for buses and cyclists and pedestrians to cross this patch of land, I, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to, to work out that sooner or later there'll be uh, a, a bus that doesn't go potentially uh, right on that orange light when they could have, or another one that does, you'll have that um, uh, blocking potentially part of uh, um, Colombo Street. And if we do our job right and we have more people cycling, that phasing might have to change. We want as many people as possible cycling through, through the inner city. Um, and having more and more cyclists there, with every action there's an equal and opposite reaction, and what that will affect is the buses that are then trying to get in there. I think it makes no sense to have the pedestrians and the buses on the inside there. I think it makes less sense to have it on the south side of the street but on the north side of the street just is not workable. I look at this, and that's not the best little newest city in the world that I see there. I see a missed opportunity with the south frame connecting at the innovation precinct. East, uh, the, uh, the east frame and the south frame is perfect for people and cyclists. What was that? Yeah, and, and as a result of the frame, they've actually, uh, they've actually made, uh, struck a compromise. So instead of compulsory acquiring it, um, the buildings that are still there, they've made provisions for all of those places, for those buildings, to have public access through there because that was the intention of the South Frame. I know that with Team Hutchison Ford and all of those ones, ones down there. So I, I think that that is the ideal place to be having this. So I just think that this, this just isn't going to work. This isn't the best little city in the world. And item by item, I feel very uncomfortable having my name beside that because I just see more questions than I do answers and I see a missed opportunity with a central city green space that's in the public realm. That's the place where cyclists and pedestrians should be, not cramming them all onto to one street. Right, Glenn. I'll be quick, four points. Uh, basically, hate to be a wet blanket because I know you've all done a lot of work, but um, this really um, uh, fills me with uh, 
a reasonable degree of anxiety. Uh, the four points are here firstly, at a high level where um, intentionally intersecting buses and cyclists. So we've talked about having dedicated uh, cycleways in Christchurch. Here we're actually throwing together what I call the little guy and the big guy. And I have very serious concerns over that. I have concerns over the window of time to get across uh, that, uh, the cyclists to get across the front with 50 movements um, uh, an hour. So that equates to roughly one a minute. As Vicky said, you could have two or three buses piled up. I'm concerned over the line of sight when you've got one up high, one down low. You have a combination also of sunstrike and the frost that goes with that in winter. And fourthly, no, forget the fourth point. It's, it's not hugely pertinent here, but I do have concerns over this. Um, when we're talking about uh, dedicated cycle lanes, yet we're putting buses and cycles together. Um, please don't do that. Um, Pauline. Thank you, and I concur with uh, what Glenn said. And regarding our cycleways, we've taken a lot of um, sage advice from people from the Netherlands who've come out and given us you know, some very good tips. And one of those is never, never combine vulnerable like cyclists and pedestrians with huge um, other vehicles or vehicles that move at completely different speeds. That, that creates um, risk. And what we're doing here is not only combining that, but we're also making them meet in a turning angle, which in itself is another risk. So it doesn't stack up to me. And I think that um, round the table we have identified this as a problem. Let's not try and um, solve it today, but let's, as Raf said, go forward and work with other people and try and find a solution to what we see as a problem here in this plan. So I will be supporting the amendment. Thank you. Um, David? Um, thank you. This is, <clears throat> to a degree, a little um, symptomatic of yesterday in Rickett and Buses, um, where we are ultimately trying to get the best solution from some unavoidably not-so-flash options. My concern with this um, amendment, and I'm not going to support it, is that we've heard from our, our staff and, and our safety experts that putting the bus lane, sorry, the cycleway on the south side, there are a number, a significant number of um, intersections, alleyways that we have no, little or no control over and the safety aspect is far worse on the south side. I agree that the north side has some issues but at least we know where they are and we can address them. Um, I'm also um, concerned I suppose that as a member of the Infrastructure, Transport and Environment Committee we have spent hours and hours and hours uh, working on this this proposal. We've re received the best advice we can possibly get and frankly I think you know we've formed a, a, a committee structure in, in council where we are debating these things and, and with due deference to other councillors if they have a particular issue with some of these things they need to come and sit on these committees. I'm concerned that we get back to council. We are relitigating stuff that we have spent hours on, hours and hours. We might as well not have subcommittees and just bring everything to council and debate it here because those of us that have been in the committee have spent hours on it. And those of you that haven't are, are asking all the questions that we've, we've been through day after day. We've had this subject on our agenda probably two or three times in the last few months. And here we are sitting in council now, some of us, going over what we've done in many instances before. So um, I'm not going to support this, um, this remit, amendment, sorry. I believe that we have uh, thrashed the subject out in committee level on numerous occasions and we need to move on now and, and uh, get this thing underway. Thank you. Tim? Thank you. Um, I will not be supporting the amendment. I'll be supporting the um, staff recommendation. If we look at this, and we're talking about cyclists and, and problems there, well, if, if, if you feel a cyclist can't get through here, then how do you think a pedestrian's going to get through? So we may as well just close the road and just let the buses have it all. 
I mean, we've gone through this information. Also, with regards to these diagrams, the overall, the south side of the road has more problems and issues than the north side. This is a 30k area, in the, which is going to be a, a slow speed area, in a controlled environment. I, I have no problem with that. The staff have done a hell of a lot of work. We have been given a lot of information. I'm going to support the staff recommendation. Thank you. Okay. Um, I've also sat on this Environment Committee for some time and uh, I, I feel very uncomfortable, I have to say, with bike meets bus. I don't like that anywhere, but despite that, wherever we look, we find more problems than this solution suggests, um, sadly, because I would prefer a different solution. I don't like this solution at all. Um, but if I look on the south side of this road, then I see lots of um, bike meets car and bike meets everybody else as they come in and out of access ways. Uh, to, to contemplate the south frame, the south frame is a concept that disappeared some mm. time ago um, when it became a 10 metre wide, um, almost public realm, um, but except that, can, that um, non-complying uses were allowed to stay there until they changed their uh, use. So that for a cyclist to get down the south frame, quite apart from the fact that they may have to wait 30 years um, for the buildings to shift, they <laughs> actually have to cross every street on the way, some of which are one ways. So that is just not a workable solution um, and one that may have been a good solution when the south frame was actually a green area, but the south frame is something of an illusion um, and we need to recognise that that's happened, not at our um, decision, but that it has happened. And so the idea that it's even a, a thing is it's a small chunk of one area and it's 10 metres inside buildings. So it's, if, if that's what the amendment is about, then I cannot possibly um, support it. The, the difficulty um, that I have with this amendment is that it means we open the bus exchange with no provision for cycleways and pedestrians to interact safely in terms of where that bus exchange interacts with the street. I cannot possibly contemplate that. That's, so while I'm not loving this solution at all um, and, and would have looked at some alternatives, I can't possibly support the idea that we open a bus exchange in the central city with no provision for pedestrian or bike safety way, safety. So I cannot support the amendment. Uh, Paul? I'll make this very brief. Uh, I just want to mirror everything Vicky said and also mirror what David said around the relitigation of, of uh, these things. We, we spend hours debating these things. We have the best advice we can possibly get from our staff and from experts. There are always other experts out there that will have a different, differing opinion and for various reasons they have differing opinions. But we've, we've got a transport solution here. We need to have something in place by the time that bus interchange actually opens, which is April uh, uh, 17. So we've got to get on and make the decision. If something happens down the, the track where we can actually find another solution and move this somewhere else, well, that'd be great. But at this point, we need to move on with this here and I'll be supporting the uh, staff recommendation. Right, I'm going to um, allow uh, Phil the final right of reply, but that means I need to speak before you if I'm to give you the um, right of reply. Um, when I uh, uh, first received uh, correspondence from Dame Margaret on behalf of ECAN, uh, I uh, understood that she was asking for something that was sensible to move the, um, the connection point between uh, cyclists and... Um, and the interchange to the other side of the road so that there would be cycle safety at that point. Um, since which time I've taken the opportunity to uh, question staff in relation to all of the issues that were raised at the, um, at the uh, infrastructure, um, transport and um, um, environment, um, transport and infrastructure committee. And I guess that... Um, I've come to the view that uh, you know staff have been asked to design the best possible cycle route 
given decisions that were already made in relation to the location of the bus exchange. This is not the location that staff would have chosen, in fact didn't choose, for the draft central city plan. The draft city central plan did not have all of the buses converging in one place. They distributed to four places um, in the central city so that there wasn't that choke point. Um, and given that the decision was was made to have one single interchange where all of the buses would come to. Um, and given the fact that we are committed to providing a network of safe cycleways separated from the road throughout the city, and given that despite um, the differences of view expressed in the report that ECAN um, provided us, uh, the one thing that everyone agreed on was that Chewham Street was the only option. And given that Chewham Street's the only option, really the only um, integrated solution that we have is the one that staff have come up with. It isn't ideal, but then neither are the circumstances within which we are making this decision. So um, I'm going to support the staff recommendation because I think it is important that we <coughs> put in place um, a part of the network um, that will enable cyclists to have confidence uh, that um, th there is only really going to be one point in the, in, this, in the city, and that is this point, where a light will indicate a priority that wouldn't be a natural priority.